Welcome back to the What Would Charlie Shoot podcast. We're on episode number 29 of the 30-Day Photo Challenge Boot Camp. You're learning your camera, you're having some fun, you're making some amazing images, and thank you so much for joining me. It's been a pleasure to be your teacher, and I've got some awesome stuff coming up for you in the new year as well. But for today, let's go. A lot of my students love unconventional exercises to learn the camera. I like to give the gift of photography beyond what the f-stop, shutter speed, ISO, and basic lessons can give. So today, I'm going to share a new episode with you in this 30-day series as a holiday gift for you to learn your camera. Even if you're a seasoned pro, I promise that you'll take away some new skills from my series. And the beauty of this series is that you can repeat the exercises as many times as you want to learn something new. Before we get started with this new episode today, make sure you're following, liking, and subscribing on the following links so that you can get all the different episodes that I've done throughout this boot camp and you can actually hear about the really awesome stuff that I've got coming up in early January for you in the new year. So number one is on Medium, jump over to https colon slash slash medium.com forward slash at Charlie Nabeck. You can read about the lessons and follow along here. Number two, go over to Anchor. Go to https colon slash slash anchor.fm forward slash Charlie dash or hyphen Nabeck. You can listen to my podcast here to hear the lessons, and my podcast is also on Spotify, Apple, Amazon, and where podcasts live, if you want to follow and subscribe on your favorite channels. Number three, jump over to YouTube. Go to https colon slash slash www.youtube.com forward slash C as in cat forward slash Charlie Nabeck. You can watch the lessons or listen here too. This is a relatively new adventure for me where I removed all my old videos from the pandemic kit. So yeah, I've got 9.48k subscribers there, but the channel has been inactive until recently when I started to post again. I'm also a photo coach online on Zoom, and in all transparency, I share these lessons with you so you can grow as a photographer. If you need any help with your photography, if you've got any questions or I can help you in any way, jump over to https colon slash slash calendly.com forward slash cnpcall forward slash one hour. I'm happy to help you with your photography, get you inspired, and get you going. And after you finish following all the channels, make sure you get all 30 lessons from this boot camp that I share one each day at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we're going to proceed together with the 29th lesson. So lesson number 29 today is to photograph at the flea market or the antique store. Now let's go to the flea market in your local antique store today. We're leading up to New Year's Eve and getting ready to start the brand new year. 2023, let's see what that has. By visiting your local flea market or antique store, I want to train your eyes further to look for details in your photographs. Sometimes it can be really interesting to pick through visual smorgasbords of treasures to find a composition. And as we're close to the end of the boot camp together, maybe you want to dive into a special photography project or after you complete the new year as one of your goals, maybe you want to start a photo business or something like that. Maybe you want to continue to learn a specific style of photography. Maybe you got some questions that you want to book some photo coaching lessons with me to help you as well. Happy to help you out there as well. And no matter what the case, let's get ready for action. So head to the local flea market or antique store and get ready to look for things that you love. Make as many images as your heart desires and go wild. Be sure to respect people that are in the space if they ask you not to photograph their wares also. Uh, sometimes people may ask you that. And, uh, remember, you're in a private space instead of a public space. Especially if you're in the United States, that's the rule on there, so be respectful of people. Here's the exercise details, and we're going to go from here. So number one, grab a snack and a beverage to start out, get some energy in you to prepare for your shoot. Number two, charge up your camera battery good and keep a spare one in your camera bag or your pocket. Keep some extra memory cards on you, because that's always a great idea, too, to have some backups. Number three, head to the local flea market or antique store where you live. And for a bonus for fun, take someone that you love with you for the adventure. Number four, photograph everything that catches your eye and really work on composition today. There's lots of shapes, textures, different lighting, colors, and things like that. Look for these things on how you can make something interesting out of them in these spaces. Number five, if someone at the booth asks you not to photograph their wares, play the student photographer car and apologize and move on. Don't argue these people. Respect their time, respect their space, all that good stuff. There's another shot right around the corner, I promise you. Number six, make at least 10 images that you love out of the experience. And if you need to photograph many more to get these tens, do that. 
Number seven, return home and load your images on your computer and feel free to edit your images to your liking. Or you can even edit in your phone today. And last but not least, post your best images from your adventure to social media and tag share a picture magazine and hashtag flea market antique challenge. If you want to become a part of my student community, you can jump over to https colon slash slash shareapicturemagazine.com and you can follow the contributor instructions there. I have a wonderful community of students that post up their work and write about their work all the time. I'd love to invite you to be a part of that as well. As a bonus, if you'd like to write and take a moment to write about your experience with this photo boot camp challenge and share what you feel about it, link up all the links, share it with your photographer friends as well so they can participate too. And you can also repeat this exercises in this photo boot camp challenge as many times as you like from different starting points. Remember to follow me over on Medium, follow me on Anchor, and follow me on YouTube so you can get all these exercises and more. I got some really cool stuff coming up for y'all in January, so you don't want to miss out. So make sure you like, subscribe, follow, all that good stuff out there. Good luck, happy shooting, enjoy the flea market and antique experience in there as well. Maybe you come home with a treasure in addition to your treasure and your photographs. Who knows? But I'll see you tomorrow for the next one, and we'll go from there. <music>